Thankfully, Congress did pass ICWA in 1978, putting, a to uh, putting an end to the toxic legacy of forced assimilation and forced removal. And that's particularly important to me because I'm not only Navajo, but I am also a product of ICWA. At a very young age, I was taken away from my mother who was incarcerated, and my father was also incarcerated at the time. And the state had no idea on what to do with me and my younger brother. Once they learned that we came from a Native American background, ICWA protected me and allowed me to return home to my people on the Navajo Nation. My aunt then took us in and started raising us and now my aunt is my mother. So this law shows that it does work it does protect us and it's a very important to me you know being a product of that because i get to keep my heritage i got to keep my culture and i got to keep my identity and that's nothing that i would trade so i applaud the supreme court and the decisions i look forward to working with other organizations to make sure that the future of ICWA is protected at all costs and from the navajo nation I want to, uh, on behalf of President Nygren, also extend an appreciation to all of our federal partners and our uh, tribal leaders and um, tribal organizations for continuing to work together uh, because it shows that once we do come together that we are a force to reckon with and we will continue to put those interests of our people at the forefront. So thank you. Ahead.